Good day students, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math skills today. For this video, I'll be giving you more examples on finding the limits of exponential functions, logarithmic functions, and trigonometric functions. But before we continue with this video, please watch these videos. So let's start. Let's have example number one. Let's solve for the limit of 3 raised to x plus 1 as x approaches 0 plus 1. Using direct substitution, we have 3 raised to 0 plus 1 plus the constant 1. Simplifying further, we have 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. Thus, the limit is equal to 4. Let's solve for the limit of 3x times e raised to negative 2x as x approaches negative infinity. Using limit loss, we can write the given to 3 times the limit of x as x approaches negative infinity times the limit of e raised to negative 2x as x approaches negative infinity. Evaluating the limit as x approaches negative infinity, we have negative infinity times 3 which is equivalent to negative infinity or the number gets smaller and smaller. For e raised to negative 2x, this is also equivalent to 1 over e raised to 2x. The limit whenever the base is between 0 and 1 as x approaches negative infinity is equal to positive infinity. Therefore, we have negative infinity times positive infinity which is equal to negative infinity. Now, let's try solving for the limits of logarithmic functions. Solving for the limit of 2x minus ln of x as x approaches 0 from the right, we can separate the terms using limit loss, and then we can evaluate the limit separately. 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 0 from the right would be equivalent to 2 times 0 which is equal to 0. On the other hand, since ln of x is equal to logarithm base e of x, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to negative infinity. Simplifying further, we have 0 minus negative infinity, which is equivalent to the limit of the function, positive infinity. Let's solve for the limit of x squared times ln of x as x approaches 0 from the right. We can separate the terms using limit loss. Evaluating the terms, we have 0 times negative infinity, which is equivalent to 0. Therefore, the limit of x squared times ln of x as x approaches 0 from the right is 0. For our last set of examples, let's solve for the limit of trigonometric functions. Let's solve for the limit of sin x over tangent x as x approaches 0. Since tangent x is equal to sin x over cosine x, we can rewrite the given to sin x divided by sin x over cosine x. Simplifying further, we can multiply sin x by the reciprocal of sin x over cosine x, which is cosine x over sin x, and then we can cancel out sin x. Therefore, we have the limit of cosine x as x approaches 0, which is equal to 1. Let's solve for the limit of x times cotangent x as x approaches 0. Since cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sin x, we can rewrite the given to the limit as x approaches 0 of x times cosine x over sine x, which is also equivalent to the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x times x over sine x. Evaluating the limit separately, we have the limit of cosine x as x approaches 0 times the limit of x over sine x as x approaches 0. In order for us to use one of the special limits, we can rewrite x over sine x using negative exponents. Evaluating the limits further, we have cosine 0 for the limit of cosine x as x approaches 0 and 1 raised to negative 1 for the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 which is a special limit. Simplifying further, we have 1 times 1 which is equal to 1. And now, I challenge you guys to find the limit of these examples. And here are the solutions and final answers. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. See you on my next video.